time. It's a party. It's irreverent. Everyone wants to laugh and have fun. It's just, it's, it's, it's what people need. Hey, good morning everybody. Just having some breakfast with Dallas. We, this is one of our morning routines. Dallas and I usually just hang out. We're trying something new today. Cinnamon Toast Crunch Churros. I'm a huge churro fan. So, wow, these smell amazing. Wow. Holy crap. So, if you're new to the channel, I'm Peter A. DeLuca, a.k.a. Pad. We're not here to talk about cereal. I just love food so much, so I make it a part of the channel. And if you are new to the channel, do me a favor and subscribe. Leave comments. Help me create a feedback loop so I can sculpt this content to exactly what all of you are expecting. It's early now. I've been up all night watching Wrestlemania. Not for a Wrestlemania video for my podcast. That's going to be launching soon. I'm watching Wrestlemania and I'm doing work for the comic book also. Kind of double duty. I watched Wrestlemania nearly twice. Didn't get a lot of sleep. Mm. Alright. Real, real quick review. Real quick review, everyone. If you see this, if you see the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Churros, buy them. It's a wonderful, wonderful cereal. Amazing product. I can't stop eating it. Ugh. Oh my God, Dal. All right, everyone. <laughs> All right, look. Enough with the cereal. We have a comic book to talk about. Hey, yo. Okay, we're back here. So, let me. I just need a little bit more of this. Well, we're not doing comics on this channel. Sometimes we're eating cereal, but let's let's get into this. I, I have a complicated history with Rob Liefeld. I never hated his work, his artwork. I championed uh, everything he did for a very long time. When I back in the days when I worked in a comic shop. It was, it was the Alan Moore, Supreme, Rob Liefeld era. And even at that time, those Supreme stories were better than anything DC was doing with Superman. I still maintain that the, the Alan Moore, Rob Liefeld, Supreme arc is, is, is maybe the best monthly Superman story ever told. But look, look, we're talking about Major X. This, we're talking about this right here, Major X. Right there. This book right here is hyped. People have driven. I'm going to throw this over here. People have driven up to one hour to track down this comic. It came out last Wednesday. And if you're monitoring what's happening in comics, the industry is just slowly burning. It is depressing. It's sad. And Major X is, it almost became this, this lighthouse. And I just, I don't have time to track it down. I downloaded it. Thank you, Comic Exology. Also downloaded a <laughs> uh, Psycho KO. So I should be doing a Psycho KO something very soon. So part of my history with Rob Liefeld is this uh, acknowledgement that he is the modern day Jack Kirby. He always was. The way how the two distort forms are equally disturbing and unappealing. Uh, their rendering of forms and their understanding of forms uh, is a it, it crystallizes that they're just trying to sell a book and make something cool, and they kind of know how to do it. They have they know how to do it more than more than their contemporaries. That argument, Rob Liefeld, is it's a tough one. Not that many people buy it. So we go through the phases of the Rob Liefeld. We have New Mutants, 
Then we get into young blood. Then we get into almost like maximum press. You're kicked out of image. We go to awesome comics. Then we go to arcade. And along the way, he's he's trickling back into DC with Teen Titans. He's going back to Marvel for a Wolverine run. He's you know boosting. He, 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 Rob Liefeld has a history of boosting sales wherever he goes. And Major X is one of his creations. And it's insanely exciting whenever you know Rob Liefeld has something new coming because he literally does nothing but create characters that people love. Now, if we're talking about Major X, we're, 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 it's on Movie Day. It's, it's, uh, it's spoilers. I don't care. It's, it's hard to describe. He's from like a side dimension, which is also dystopian in a lot of ways. And he, and he has a mother box. No, it's called a mother cycle. And he, he comes to maybe modern day. I don't know. And he, he fights, which is cool. Uh, and eventually he is revealed to be spoilers related to, Take Cable, a Rob Liefeld co-creation. And that's that's where it ends. There's there's no real design. There's no, there's no Rob Liefeld in this Major X. It, it, he doesn't even look like a Rob Liefeld design character. And we're, 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 we're going to do a flip through. I, I want us to go through Major X number one. Because... The real issue, there is there is something disturbing that, that came to me as I was reading it. Nothing to do with the story. I think the story has potential, the story has growth. But if the industry is driving towards, if the industry and the retailers are driving towards this book, and there's, according to Liefeld, via tweet, his... Uh, it, it, there seems to not have been enough orders to fit the demand. There's not enough supply to fill demand for this book. It, it's very similar to Superior Hulk or Immortal Hulk. Uh, Hulk, I'm sorry. See, Immortal Hulk had a very similar trend where it, that book could not be kept in stock. Huge demand for it. So these could be Marvel's top two books right now. Immortal Hulk. Major X. And that's, you know, like when, when Rob Liefeld should always be able to move books, but he shouldn't be the only one moving a book in a, uh, a Disney owned enterprise that is, that has a billion dollars worth of resources behind it. I'm exaggerating a little bit with that figure, but you get the point. But let's get to the real disturbing part. All right, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to my. Uh, <laughs> this is my drawing table. This is this is a lot of what's disturbing. This is Rob Liefeld, 1994, and I want us to look at this. And we're we're gonna do a little bit of a of a side by side. The point I'm getting at is the book from 1994 is drawn and colored better than the book done today. If you don't believe me, let's let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's check this out. How on earth can we have a book as old as this one? As old as Youngblood number six. Look better than a book that came out just a couple days ago. Look how Rob Liefeld renders a motorcycle. Look at the motorcycle shots. Rob Liefeld drawing. Rob Liefeld drawing a jumping motorcycle here, and a jumping motorcycle here. We can face forward to uh, two similar action pages, action shots. Th this is so significant. This is so important. The coolest thing is right here too. If if we go back to young if 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 we go back to New Mutants 99 <laughs> we have we we have almost the same exact reveal. <laughs> okay, we're 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 even ripping our, our own reveal here. 
with the unmasking. We, 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 we have a similar unmasking reveal, but yeah. I'm telling you, that's a tough pill to swallow, just as a creator. You got, you got Youngblood 6 here, fucking miles and miles above Major X. This is, this just should not be allowed. This, this is exactly what I'm telling all of you. We, we, we can't get excited and we can't, we can't get excited for things we've seen before. Major X is, we've seen everything within Major X so far. Major X is nothing but filled with characters we're already familiar with. It offers a new title, a new character design. That's that's really what everyone is getting excited about. And the, the most depressing, the most upsetting thing, the, the, the thing that, that literally puts a fire in my marrow is that it's the best that Marvel is putting out right now. A book that is far below a bar set by its own creator is in 1994. Comment Gators, I gotta go. I love you all. Subscribe, support, comment. If you're not a Comment Gator, if you're new to this channel, hit me up on Twitter at AKAPad. <laughs>